love history. Did your yeah. wife keep her maiden name? Man, I tried to call you. Did you change your number? Man, what you wearing? You smell good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Muchos thank you. Unbelievable. Uh, always uh, getting here all day. Right? The pen is mightier, and no one is mightier than the great uh, Peter Gammons uh, joining us on a Hot Stove. Peter, uh, happy holidays to you. We don't have a lot of time, so let's jump right into it here. So so tell me what you know about uh, Tomoyuki uh, Sagano. He won a couple of Cy Young Awards of uh, the Japan version in 2017 and 2018. Could he be a brand-new star in Major League Baseball in 2021? Well, he could be, but I think what, what's significant here, and I can hear this from agents and uh, general managers, he could be the next significant signing. And his, the, the bids to the Yomiuri Giants have to be in by January 7th. There are a lot of teams that are posting bids. We're going to know then, though, where he can and likely will end up. So that's pretty significant. Is he Trevor Bauer? No, he's not Trevor Bauer. He's also not going to be anywhere near as expensive, but he is very consistent. He's very diligent. He, he is exceptionally precise. I mean, the fact that he throws strikes 4.6 to 1 strikeout walk ratio tells something about the consistency you get. And, you know, frankly, teams, there are so many teams that need him. And he's a great example of what it means to lose a minor league season and maybe part of another one because Pitching development has taken a tremendous step back, which makes him at 31 a lot more of a lot more value. I mean, you look, I mean, take the Padres, for instance. I mean, OK, they, they're not going to have Clevenger. He had Tommy John surgery. I mean, the, 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 they well, that had arm problems at the end of the year. And people say, well, they have these really good young pitchers, Mara, Mara Hone and, and um, Patino and Gore. But they're in a division trying to chase the Dodgers. Those three guys have 66 of the third innings of major league uh, experience combined. They're not going to be ready to step in and pitch in a pennant race. So Gallo can. So he's very appealing to them. Now, I'm told there are a lot of big market teams who are dealing with the, uh, well, the fact of luxury tax. Yankees, Red Sox, um, Astros. That, and Giants that are very interested. Then you have teams that really need him, like Toronto and San Diego. But again, with the Padres, I mean, he could step in and pitch right away and also give the time for those three young pitchers to develop. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting, interesting period because is he a number one? No, but it's a good friend of mine who's seen him a lot said, you know, he at worst is a consistent number three who could start the second game of a playoff series, and that's really important. Peter, I love that word you use for Sagano, precise. I watch him pitch, and I see how still his head is. The balance is perfect, deceleration perfect. I agree with you. I think he's a reliable sign for somebody. And you mentioned Toronto. I can definitely see them getting involved in this. We know they've talked to some starting pitchers. But do the Blue Jays face challenges that other teams don't face in free agency? They have, and they really have since they, they opened there in, in 1977. In December of that year at the winter meetings, Pat Gillick traded with the Cardinals to get a pitcher named Pat Underwood. <clears throat> well, or Tom Underwood, excuse me. So he wasn't too happy about it. So he told the St. Louis writers, I do not want to go someplace where they speak Canadian. Well, you know, I mean, it just, it seems ridiculous to all of us because Toronto is one of the most sophisticated and great cities in the Western Hemisphere, but there are still problems. I mean, Charlie Montoya this last week said every time he talks to a potential free agent, they say, um, where are you going to be playing? And I guess none of them have taken summer vacations in Buffalo, but that, that's a consideration. Plus, there's still the problem of crossing the border because of the pandemic. I mean, the players want to sign there and then have to have when their families come and visit them, do they want to wait for, you know, for, for uh, to be uh, uh, sidelined for 10 days? I mean, it's, it's an issue. It shouldn't be. Now, they've had great success because it's such a cosmopolitan and diverse culture. They've had great success attracting Latin American players. They shouldn't have any problem attracting a Sagano. I think that has a chance to be a place with the money they have 
I think they have a great chance to compete with the Padres. I think they're going to be the two teams to really watch in this thing. And Peter, you mentioned the pandemic. Tell us about a former Cardinals player who's having a great effect off the field. This is one of my favorite stories. And to me, it says, you know, if you have enough diligence to be able to pursue two careers and actually make the major leagues and go forward, Mark Hamilton is my man of the year as far as baseball is concerned. I first knew him when he was playing for the Falmouth Commodores in 2004 in the Cape League. Really good player. Second round draft choice in, in 2006. Made it to the Cardinals, played enough games. He got a World Series ring in 2011. Decided, you know what, I'm never going to supplant Albert Pujols. Ended up going back, graduated from medical school this, this spring. And he's now working, he's doing his first intern trip. He's a doctor at the Long Island Jewish Hospital in Queens. And his job, six nights a week, hmm. works seven to seven uh, in the COVID wards. And that, was, that picture was him getting his, the vaccine shot on Friday. To me, he is a legitimate American hero, and he's written a great piece on Facebook really for the benefit of players who are worried about the vaccine, explaining so much of the medical and psychological part of it. Um, he's an extraordinary human being, and uh, uh, we should all be happy for him at, at this period in our history. Amazing uh, career, and you cannot highlight uh, people like Mark Hamilton enough, all the great work, and you mentioned it, uh, true frontline here on Mark Hamilton, former Cardinals player.